All right, welcome to part four. It's going to be our last video. Part four, we're going to set up a reset button. We'll set up uh, the start button to update the score, and we'll also set it up so that our game gets a little harder here. Okay. So what we want to do on our start button, if you noticed, basically the score needs to. Basically, we need a reset the score here. Okay. So what we're going to do is you want to go to my blocks my definitions and you want to go to where it says update score score value okay so when you hit the score or the start button we want it to update the score and give it a value of zero so in the built-in math we'll add number and we will give it a value of zero okay so that's all you need to do. So now uh, on your emulator, when you hit the start button, the score will go back to zero. All right, so if I lose here, it says game over. I hit start. Score starts back at zero. All right. Uh, we're going to create the reset button, and it'll be very similar. So under my blocks, go ahead and get the reset button, and we'll do reset button .clicked. And what you're going to do is left click and select the where it says set ball one dot enable to true. You're going to hit control C to copy and then control V like Valentine to paste. And you want to copy basically each of these blocks here. And we're going to move each of them under where it says uh, reset button dot click. I'm going to close this so I have more room here. What we're going to add to the reset button is basically we're going to set the score label text. So we'll go to score label here, set score label text to, and we're going to join together. I'll copy off of this one. This is the uh, score label dot text for the update score. We'll copy and paste that. I'm going to delete where it says global score and I'm going to give it a value of zero. Okay. Alright, so we have that. The last thing I'm going to do is show you guys how to create it so that once you reach a certain score, the speed of the ball will go faster. That'll make our game a little harder. Okay, it'll give it a level of difficulty to it. Alright, so to do that, we gotta create a new procedure. So we're gonna go up to built-in definition, get a procedure, and we'll call this procedure speed up ball. And we need to go to your controls and you get a if test then do. Okay, so we're going to test the score. So we'll go to math here, and we're going to use the greater than symbol to test. And under my blocks, my definitions, you want to get the value global score. So if the global score is greater than, for this first one, let's say a score of 1. So if our score is greater than 1, then we want it to make the speed of the ball faster. Okay, so we're going to go to ball one and we'll find the block that says set speed. Okay, and we're going to get a plus math sign here. And we'll get a number. And remember the speed is the number of pixels, so I'm just going to put one for now. Um, and then under my blocks, my uh, ball one you want to find where it says ball one speed. So if the score is greater than one, we're going to set the ball speed to the ball speed plus one pixel. So it'll get one pixel faster. So if I hit start and reset it, okay. And what we have to do now, let's see if we can get it. We have to have the procedure be called. Um, so we want to add it to the ball collide with and the reset button. 
So under my blocks, basically when you create a procedure, under my blocks, my definitions, you have the call procedure. So I'm going to copy and paste that. So when the ball touches uh, the paddle, ball one collide with, we want it to call up that procedure. And we will also call the speed up ball procedure to the reset button. Okay, so if I hit star here, when it hits this paddle, score should be one. So when it gets greater than one, we should see the speed change. All right, so as you can see, the ball gets a little faster when you hit um, over one. Okay, and as your score increases, uh, basically we need to set it up so that as the score keeps increasing, that the speed of this will, of the ball will keep increasing. So we'll go back to the uh, blocks here. Basically, what you want to do is select the if then do block hit control C and then control V and you just hit uh, control V a few more times okay so this first one's fine and the second one and this is up to you guys so if the score is greater than 10 I'll do it and then I'll do on this one 15 I'll do 20 for the score and then 25 and feel free to change this if you want. Okay, so when it gets greater than 10, we're going to add five more pixels to the existing speed. And then if it gets over 15, it'll be 10. If it gets over 20, we'll do 15 more to the score or to the speed. And then if the score gets over 25, it'll go up 20. So let's go ahead and check that out. Basically, I encourage you to change it, know how it works, and then change it and make it work for your game. Okay, so you could make it as hard as you want. You could make it uh, easy. The speed is up to you. So basically, we've got to go till it hits 10 here, and then from there, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, so the higher the score the faster your ball is going to go. You want to find something that's playable but not impossible. Set it up to do that. Make it work for your game. Um, ooh, I don't know how I got that. So as you can see it's getting faster and I lost. Alright, hit the reset button we're good to go again. Alright, so once you've done that um, if you want, you can try out to also make the ball smaller. So as the score increases, you could take the radius size of the ball and subtract a number from it to make the ball smaller. Just like we did with the speed up ball procedure, you could have a size down ball procedure. Try that out, okay? And uh, show me when you're done. Thank you.